Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the branch issue request preparation options. Before we begin, let us understand about the need of branch issue request entry and the relevance of this particular activity. If you are handling multi-locations and or warehouses, there may be a scenario where one location or warehouse is running short of an item, whereas there is plenty of stock at another location or warehouse. In this scenario, you would prefer to transfer such excess stock from one location or warehouse to the other location or warehouse. The location or warehouse running the shortage of the item would need to send a request to the location or warehouse where there is surplus stock. Through this module of Align Books, you can raise such an issue request. This module will only be available if you have configured multi-location on or if you have configured warehouse on in your company setup options. You can create branch issue request under the inventory module of Align Books. The key functions of branch issue request module are creation of a new branch issue request, modification of an existing branch issue request, deletion of an existing branch issue request. Configuration. Alignbooks provides you with the facility to configure your branch issue request documents with respect to choice of maintaining multiple series of documents, choice of sending email and SMS on creation or credit or approval of the document, and for approval system settings, etc. Click on configuration to configure this document. Let's now understand how to create a new branch issue request in simple steps. You have three ways to prepare a branch issue request. Enter the fresh data for the first time, open an existing document and use the copy feature of Align Books to make the necessary changes. This will save your time and efforts. If you have data in an Excel format, import data and make the required changes. Let's enter the fresh set of data for the first time. Location. Select the location from the drop-down menu from which the request is being sent. This field is available only if you have configured multi-location on, in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. If your desired location does not exist in the menu, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. You can also edit or delete a location from here. Select a location to be edited or deleted and then click on the pencil icon. The location will be opened in edit mode and you can edit it and save it by clicking on save. You can delete it by clicking on delete. To location. Select the location from the drop-down menu to which the request is being sent. Category. If you are classifying your document in different categories, select the applicable category from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Document Classification on, in, Configuration, then Company Setup, then Inventory, then Basic. You can add, edit or delete a category by following the process described under Location tab. Warehouse. Select the warehouse from the drop-down menu from which the request is being sent. This field is available only if you have configured Warehouse on, in, Configuration, then Company Setup, then Inventory, then Basic. To Warehouse. Select the warehouse from the drop-down menu to which the request is being sent. Request Date. Enter the branch issue request date which you wish to reflect in the document. By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. Request number prefix. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual prefix, select a prefix from the drop-down list. If the required prefix does not exist in the list, you can create a new prefix by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Number. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual numbering, enter a document number here. Pull from. This field is used to import the data from the parent document. Upon selection, a list of the parent documents will be on display. If there is no parent document linked, this option will be shown as disabled. Lookup. 
This option will work like a barcode. If you enter an item code, the system picks up the relevant details automatically. So far, we have entered the relevant details to clearly identify the branch issue request. We will now enter the specific item or product details to generate a branch issue request. Plus, click here to add a row to the table. Plus, click here to add a row to the table. X, click here to delete a row from the table. Item code, select an item code from the drop-down list. Click on the plus to add a new item. Description. The system will fill the description details automatically from the item master. Unit. The system will fill the unit details automatically from the item master. Quantity. Enter the item quantity here. Rate. The system will auto-calculate and pick the rate of the item based on your valuation method. Amount. The system will calculate the amount automatically, i.e. with the multiplication of quantity times rate. Remark. If you wish to put any remark against an item, enter here. Item balance. The system will display the stock in hand of this particular item. The table is dynamic and many extra columns in the table will appear based on your configuration in company setup. If you set up these fields, you will need to enter relevant values in columns created for each item row. The columns which will appear based on configuration in company setup are column, pack unit, will appear if, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit on, pack quantity, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit on, item serial number, inventory, then item extended property, then item serial number, tracking on, batch number, Inventory, then item extended property, then batch wise inventory, on. User defined item attributes 1 to 5. Inventory, then item attributes required. Remark. Input here any remark pertaining to the document. Attachment. Here you may upload any supporting documents which can be used for future reference. You can browse the location to attach the same. Click on the X to remove the attachment. User defined fields 1 to 5. During the inventory setup, Inventory setup, then inventory document custom fields. If you have selected user defined fields, these will appear with the caption provided by you for these extra fields. You may enter the relevant values or data in the applicable field. Click on save to save the document prepared by you. Click on print to print the document prepared by you. If you want to send an email or SMS, click on arrow beside mail and click on email or SMS. Clear. Before clicking this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. The moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Import. Click on import to import data and select a file from which the data is to be imported. Schedule. If you want to create a schedule for this document, click on Schedule. You have completed creation of branch issue request. Open. Click here to open an existing branch issue request. Copy. Click here to copy the values from an existing branch issue request. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!